Ladies and gentlemen, yes, great to see you today and welcome. Thank you for joining us on this very, and I'm talking very special travel show today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we know that you love traveling on the railway. Yes, who doesn't? The rail, the trains, the atmosphere is just fantastic. But we are not talking about railway journeys in the UK. Oh, no, no, no. We are going further afield. We are going super railway journeys. In fact, some of the best, most iconic railway journeys in the world. Yes, you are in the right place today, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Andy. I am your conductor on today's special Railway Journeys show. You're going to really enjoy this. Now, we're going to be seeing all the new Railway Journeys in this classic collection, and they are absolutely amazing. We're going to be speaking to the experts as well. We're going to be getting insight onto these Railway Journeys, the destinations, and what you can expect as a passenger on these very special journeys. As always, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to the end of today's show. That's where we'll be going into the VIP Travel Lounge. Your opportunity to meet with the travel experts, to ask all the questions that you want to ask from today's show as well. And also to mingle with other guests. It's a really super place to be. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready. All aboard! Now, ladies and gentlemen, many of you, I'm sure, watching today's travel show will know all about Wendy Wu Tours. But for those of you who are new who don't know about Wendy Wu Tours, well, I have the lady for you. Wendy Wu Tours, I'm sure you will agree, viewers, are everywhere. They seem to be everywhere. So who better to tell us about Wendy Wu Tours is Head of Reservations and Operations, Kate Rowe. Kate, great to see you today. Hi Andy, thanks for having me again. Wonderful. Nice to be back. Thank you, Kate. Good to see you again. Now, Kate, Wendy Wu Tours, ladies and gentlemen, they're everywhere. <laughs> Tell us what, what is so special about Wendy Wu Tours. Well, it's a really big year for us, Andy. We've just celebrated our 25 year anniversary. And I think that, you know, hopefully speaks volumes about our experience, the many years that we've got putting together these fantastic award winning tours. And each year we're always looking at new tours that we can develop, new places that we can go to, or new ways of getting around, new ways of exploring, like our fantastic rail collection. So ladies and gentlemen, we know there are lots of touring operators out there. However, Wendy Wu Tours are indeed the UK's number one specialist tour operator. And that means they know something about touring. Which I believe, Kate, one of the USP's big things, ladies and gentlemen, is everything is included. That's right, Andy. We know that our customers really like to have everything taken care of for them so that they can just enjoy their holiday. And therefore, our classic tours are fully inclusive. That means that we include your flight from the UK out to your destination. We'll also include the visa for the destinations where one is required. And then while you're on tour, we really are going to look after you. You're going to have all of your accommodation included. You're going to have all of your meals included. That's an important one because you don't want to be trawling the streets late at night looking for somewhere to eat. You're also going to have your sightseeing included, some real authentic experiences thrown in there. And last but definitely not least, you're going to have one of our fabulous guides who's going to take care of you throughout your trip. And our guides really are the best in the business and they will make sure that you really are able to explore the culture of their homeland. They'll be able to really help bring it to life and really bring that like invaluable local knowledge to your whole trip. Okay, we've seen today, obviously, we're talking real, these fantastic real journeys today. I know, and I'm sure you agree sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you get to the train station, you don't know where to go. It's like, where do I go? Which platform? What's yeah. happening with, with these new rail tours? And that's just in London on the tube, Absol right? Andy? Absolutely. It yeah. can be manic. Train stations are very busy, hectic places. 
Um, but again, the nature of our tours, having everything already arranged for you, already included in the price that you've paid, means that you don't need to worry about getting to the right platform. You're gonna have a guide with you. They're gonna take your group to exactly where you need to be at the time that you need to be there. They're gonna be on the train with you, and then you're all going to disembark at your destination and head off to explore your next place. It sounds amazing, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Sitting there on the train, seeing these incredible destinations by rail. Love that. Kate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us today, Kate. Thank you, Andy. So ladies and gentlemen, as you've heard already, rail travel is the hottest way to travel this year, 2024, 2025, and in the future as well. What could be better? So yeah, I bet you're wondering, well, why Wendy Wu Tours? Why rail collection now? Well, I have got the gentleman who knows all about it. Yes, very special guest now, Peter Crane, Global Product Director here at Wendy Wu Tours. Peter, great to see you. And you, Andy. And you. So we want to know, Peter, why rail? What's so special about this? Yes, Andy, at Wendy Wu Tours, we've always loved rail travel. Our customers for years have been enjoying our most popular trips all of which, or nearly all of which, do include rail journeys to some extent. And last year, in a customer survey that we put out to our customers in UK, Australia and New Zealand, we found an incredible 60% of customers telling us that they wanted us to do more rail travel. So we've developed a whole selection of new tours. We've called it our rail collection. And we've combined these new tours with some of the existing tours that included lots of rail travel in the first place, to put out there as our rail collection. And this has proven really, su really successful, really popular. And we think the reasons are that customers like, our customers like to travel on rail, on rail journeys more than traveling by air and more than traveling by coach. The reasons being that typically you travel from city center to city center. You don't have to waste time transferring out to the airports, out of the cities. And you don't have to stand in those long queues for security and check in at the airports. Generally, you go straight onto your train carriage and off you go. But best of all, you travel in comfort, you can get up, you can move around, you generally have lots of leg room, and you can see the landscapes, the cities, the countryside, the villages, as you, as you journey through your destination. So our customers told us they wanted more rail journeys, and that's what we've given them. Amazing, love it, Peter. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, yes, now we are off to the hottest destination for rail travel. Yes, we are going over to Japan. And what better way to experience Japan than on those fantastic bullet trains? Yeah, really great. So here to tell us more is Lee Holden. Lee. Thank you, Andy. Japan's rail network is a modern wonder and the envy of the rest of the world. Safe comfortable, efficient, punctual, and fast. It's renowned for all the right reasons. And as a travel experience, it should be on everyone's bucket list. And of course, I've heard of Japan's high-speed bullet trains. The striking Shinkansen trains travel at speeds of up to 200 miles an hour between Japan's major cities. But you'll hardly notice the speed 
as it feels as if you're floating on air as you zoom through the countryside. Settling in, you'll notice the carriages have an almost zen-like feel. The atmosphere is peaceful and calm and your surroundings spotlessly clean. You'll even notice the ticket inspector bows to passengers as he enters the carriageway to check your tickets. Another thing to look out for is the architecture of the stations themselves. Those in big cities are attractions in their own right, some historical and others modern, but inspired by local culture. Now, many of our Japan tours include at least one bullet train journey, but the absolute jewel in the crown is our Japan by rail tour. A 21 day all encompassing journey through Japan, traveling mainly by train and taking in all the highlights of all three main islands, Kyushu, Honshu and Hokkaido. It's our most comprehensive tour and hugely popular. Traveling from south to north, using a mix of bullet and limited express trains, you'll experience the best of all sides of Japan. Ancient traditions, futuristic advances, spectacular natural beauty and thrilling cities. You'll also get to enjoy a huge variety of immersive experiences, giving you a real insight into Japanese culture. And enjoying ink making and calligraphy class in Nara. In Kyoto, you'll discover the age old ritual of a tea ceremony, enjoy a Zen meditation experience and try your hand at fan painting. The sake wooden cup making experience and sake tasting in Takehama, sushi making in Tokyo and so many, many more. The tour begins on the island of Kyushu, Japan's third largest island, renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, rejuvenating hot springs, superb food and unique history. Here you'll experience the charming city of Fukuoka and explore Nagasaki. Despite being known as the second city to be destroyed by an atomic bomb, several historic buildings and temples remain and the city is fascinating to explore. The Museum in Remembrance of the Atom Bomb is also particularly moving. From here, the bullet train whizzes us over to the island of Honshu and all of the iconic attractions Japan is famous for. Hiroshima and the holy island of Miyajima with its famous floating Tori Gate, followed by the towering white ramparts of Himeji Castle. We visit ancient Nara with its historic temples and beautiful gardens and then journey on to Kyoto, the capital for thousands of years and the cultural heart of Japan. We'll also have the chance to experience rural Japan too, as you travel from Kanazawa to the pretty village of Shirakado and on to Yudanaka in search of the adorable snow monkeys in the Japanese Alps before gazing out onto the graceful sweep of Mount Fuji. We'll have two full days to explore the bright lights of Tokyo, soaking up all the different sides to this incredible city. We'll stroll through the Hamariku Gardens, soak up the atmosphere at Sensuji Temple, Tokyo's oldest, and experience the controlled chaos of the famous Shibuya Crossing. We'll enjoy the breathtaking views from the top of Tokyo Metropolitan Building, take in the peace and tranquility of the Meiju Jingju Shrine, and be wowed by the city skyline on a relaxing dinner cruise. Journeying north from the capital, you'll enjoy a cruise on beautiful Matsushima Bay, the source of inspiration for poets and painters for centuries, and even get to sample the wares at the famous Nika Whiskey Factory before the bullet train whisks you north to the island of Hokkaido. Japan's second largest island is also its least developed and famous for its natural beauty. We get to experience that for ourselves with a breathtaking cable car journey to the top of beautiful Mount Hakodate and then journey onto the island's capital, Sapporo, one of the nation's youngest cities and home to the famous Sapporo Beer Museum. So there you have it. Three weeks, three incredible islands and countless unforgettable memories. If Japan is on your wish list, and you want to see and experience it all, including the wonderful trains, then this is the tour for you.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we journey around on these fantastic railways today, we are off to our next destination, and it is, of course, it is China. Now, as the number one specialist travel company to China, yes, we have got not just one, but two special rail collection journeys for you, including, yes, we are going to be traveling on the world's highest railway. Can you believe that? Here to tell us more, it's Rebecca, our China travel expert. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Rebecca and I'm the China product manager here at Wendy Boo Tours. And I'm really excited to introduce you to two of our brand new rail tours to China. You can whiz from city to city in sleek and sophisticated comfort, reaching the far corners of this vast country with the chance to take in a huge variety of landscapes as they pass by from the comfort of your window, things you simply couldn't see traveling by air. And of course, it wouldn't be China unless there were a few world breaking records. China's high speed rail system alone spans 35,000 kilometers, surpassing the combined length of all other countries' high speed rail networks. Additionally, and despite much doubt, China also built the world's highest plateau railway from Xining to Lhasa that took 50 years to build and reaches over 5,000 metres in elevation, a true miracle of engineering. I'm going to start off by showing you our fantastic new China by Rail tour. This tour has been out for a few months now, but is proving to be extremely popular already. China by Rail is a 22 day fully inclusive tour featuring eight bullet train journeys and a couple of extra rail experiences too, such as the world's fastest train, the Maglev train in Shanghai, which goes up to 431 kilometers an hour. It's fully inclusive, so everything's included in the price. That's your flights in and out of China, your hotels in a four star range, three meals a day, every day, an expert national escort and local guides in each city with you every step of the way, all of your sightseeing and entrance fees, all of the transport in China, and even the cost of your visa. On this tour, you'll get to see and experience many sides of China, from the super high tech cities and model marvels to the incredible natural wonders and ancient treasures. And of course, much of that is done from the comfort of your train. The tour begins in China's great metropolis, Shanghai, where east and west collide on the streets lined with towering skyscrapers and 10th century temples. Spend a day exploring some of the city's main sites, the peaceful Yu Garden, the atmospheric alleys of the old town, the colonial architecture along the Bund, and end the day with a cruise on the Hungpu River, soaking up the Technicolor lights and display. From Shanghai, we enjoy our first bullet train journey, taking us to the old trading town of Tungxi. Our bullet train journeys in China will all be very similar in terms of comfort and facilities. All seats are forward facing, wider, more cushioned, and have more leg room than your average economy class seat on a plane. The carriages are air conditioned and have Western style toilets, and you'll be able to buy snacks and drinks on board, so you'll be super comfortable on every bullet train journey in China. From Tungxi, we will travel to the breathtaking scenic area of Mount Huang, also known as the Yellow Mountain, which gets its name from the yellow tint in the granite. We take a cable car up to the summit to see the incredible vistas below, spending time visiting notable viewpoints and even waking up early to see the uh, beautiful mountains light up in the sun as it rises. We travel by bullet train further west to the stunning cities of Guilin and Yangshao. These areas have been an inspiration for Chinese artists and poets for centuries, and it's easy to see why. We take a relaxed cruise along the Li River from Guilin to Yangshao, winding our way through the limestone cast towers, which dot the peaceful countryside. It's a perfect way to admire the landscape of this breathtaking area, and you'll also get to see the local cormorant fishermen. This section as well is known as one of the most beautiful rail journeys in China. Our next bullet train journey takes us to the capital of the Yunnan province, Kunming. Here we'll explore the UNESCO listed stone forest, which is believed to be hundreds of millions of years old. We'll wander along the walkways, admiring this unusual site before tucking into a local dish across the bridge noodles for dinner this evening. Heading further west again, we'll visit the ancient towns of Dali and Lijiang, both offering a glimpse at bygone China. 
In Dali, we'll explore local markets and visit a family home to learn more about the local crafts and cruise on the gorgeous waters of the Erhai Lake. In Lijiang, you'll wander the cobblestone streets of the Old Quarter with its traditional wooden buildings and take a cable car to the top of the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain to soak up the gorgeous high meadows and the outstanding mountain views. Now we head up to the Sichuan province in Chengdu, which is one of my favourite stops on this tour, as we visit the Panda Conservation Centre. They are doing such amazing work in uh, growing the population of the giant panda, and you'll get to see them in almost their natural habitat. You can't go all that way without seeing them, and honestly, you could just sit and watch them munching on bamboo and playing around with their friends all day. Uh, they're super playful and really such a joy to see. And from one icon of Chinese culture to another, the next stop is the Terracotta Warriors. Shrouded in mystery since their discovery in the 1970s, the Terracotta Warriors are one of China's most famous sites, and we spend plenty of time learning about their discovery at the museum and then visiting the archaeological pits where uh, the Warriors are still being uncovered today, and there's a lot of restoration work as well to fix up some of the old ones. Then in Jian itself, we'll spend the, the uh, afternoon exploring the 14th century city walls that wrap around the town and end the day at the Tang Dynasty dancing show and a delicious dumpling feast. Our final bullet train journey takes us to Beijing, where we'll get to explore the imperial sites like the Forbidden City, Temple of Heaven and Summer Palace. And of course, from here, we'll head to the mighty Great Wall for our morning walk on a small section of this wonder of the world. The perfect way to end an unforgettable rail adventure. Now I want to introduce you to our newest rail tour, the Tibetan Railroad. This tour takes you a little further off the bean track, so it's perfect for those that are extra adventurous. It's 17 days long and features a trip on the world's highest railway, the Qinghai Tibet Railway, and is a once in a lifetime expedition right through the heart of Tibet's gigantic landscapes. There is a maximum group size of 18 on this tour, and we've given it a physical rating of four, which is mainly due to the altitude, but I'll explain a bit more about that in a moment. Our Tibetan Railroad tour begins at the starting point of the historic Silk Road in Xi'an. Here we'll explore the famous sites I mentioned earlier, the Terracotta Warriors, the ancient city wall, and they enjoy a Tang Dynasty dancing show. We'll then board the bullet train to take us to the gateway of the Tibetan region in Jining, where we'll visit the sacred Kumbu Monastery and also start adjusting to the altitude. From here, we'll board the train to Lhasa on the Qinghai Tibet Railway, the highest in the world, and one of the most iconic passenger trains as it passes through the most incredible scenery you simply couldn't see on your own. Your journey across the roof of the world takes 21 amazing hours, so you'll be spending the night on this train in a sleeper cabin. There are Western-style toilets on board and food can be purchased in the dining carriage, and your guide will also arrange time before boarding to go get extra snacks. Carriages are air conditioned and as the train climbs higher, oxygen is pumped into them to keep the effects of altitude at bay. There are also additional, additional oxygen outlets available for any passengers feeling the effects of the altitude and need the extra supply. There's also medical staff on board the train and your national escort is there to help you every step of the way. But as I mentioned before, this is one of the most iconic rail journeys in the world and is a real bucket list experience. As you travel across the Tibetan plateau, you'll pass snow-capped mountains, desert, grassland, herds of yak, huge lakes, permafrost. It really is one of the most adventurous journeys out there and a real centerpiece to this fantastic tour. So after your night on the famous Qinghai Tibet Railway, we arrive in Lhasa. This is the historic and spiritual heart of Buddhism in Tibet and is full of culturally significant sites. Wander through the Barkor district to see the traditionally dressed locals, step inside the Joking Temple, Tibet's sacred center of Buddhism, and visit the Sera Monastery to witness the debating monks. And of course, you'll also visit the iconic Palace of Patala, the largest monastery in the world, which perches atop the Red Mountain. Our second bullet train journey takes us two hours from Lhasa across Tibet's stark plains to Shigatse. Here we'll explore the interesting local markets and more of Tibet's monasteries, one of which was founded by the first Dalai Lama in 1447. 
Next, we have another bucket list moment for you as if the train wasn't enough. We're going to head to Mount Everest on the Tibetan side. We travel through some of the world's most incredible scenery to Rongbuk with the mighty Himalayas dominating the skyline as we go. We'll visit the Rongbuk Monastery, which you'll see draped in colourful prayer flags and spend the night at Everest Base Camp before waking up early to watch the sunrise over Everest, Earth's highest mountain, with a short walk and a sight that will stay with you forever. The last few days of the tour has been exploring Yangtze, where we'll visit more atmospheric monasteries and even a traditional kitchen to taste some local snacks and Sedang, nicknamed the Cradle of Tibetan Civilization, where you'll visit the ancient palace there, said to be the palace of the first Tibetan king. The tour ends in Chengdu, where you'll enjoy a final farewell meal with the group before heading home. So as you can see, the Tibetan Railroad offers a real adventure through this spectacular part of the world. If you want to see the itinerary in even more detail, you can download the tour dossier from the tour page on our website to see an exact day by day breakdown of what is included in this tour. Thank you. It's been a pleasure speaking to you today and we hope to see you on our next rail tours very soon. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you are enjoying this special travel show today, the new rail collection from Wendy Wu Tours. We've been to China, we've been to Japan, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going a little bit further south to the zesty, the vibrant, the energetic and passionate India. Yes, rail collection in India, here to tell us more, it's Sandra. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra Foreman and it is my pleasure to speak to you today about two extremely exciting new rail tours in one of my favourite destinations in the world, which is India. Now, India needs no introduction, I'm sure, but for those of you who haven't had the pleasure of going there, let me tell you it's a country of mesmerising contrasts, there's sumptuous colours at every turn, breathtaking landscapes and a deep, tangible spiritually that will stay with you long after you leave. And of course, you'll find the iconic sights wherever you go, from the glitz of Rajasthan's palaces and the beauty of the famous Taj Mahal, to the hustle and bustle of Delhi street markets and the peaceful backwaters of Kerala. When it comes to travelling by train in India, this is by far the best way to explore this fantastic country. The trains we use for our tours are modern, comfortable and air conditioned and offer a window into the life on the subcontinent that you simply wouldn't get travelling by plane. So a rail holiday in India is always going to offer that extra element of adventure. On our India Rail Tours, you'll be travelling from city to city on a host of different trains, all modern, safe, comfortable and with great facilities. These are premium day trains with fully air conditioned carriages, reserved seating and a food service delivered to your seat. They are high speed train services with onboard Wi Fi, in seat plugs, entertainment, and Western style toilets. And of course, we'll include a number of those iconic rail experiences, such as Ride on Shimla's famous toy train, the Nilgiri Mountain Railway, which passes through the stunning valleys of Kuno and Odi. So now that we've heard what it's like to travel by train in India, let me introduce you to the first of our rail tours to this magnificent country, India by Rail. India by Rail is a 15 day tour featuring seven wonderful rail journeys. It's a fully inclusive tour, so all of your meals are included, four star hotels, transport and destination, sightseeing and flights in and out of India. And you'll be accompanied for the duration of your trip by one of our fantastic national escorts. Not only does this tour take in the famous sites of India's Golden Triangle, Delhi, Agra and Jaipur, 
you'll also head further north to Amaritza with its stunning golden temples, visit the steep forested hillsides of Shimala and venture down into Varanasi to immerse yourself into India's spiritual capital. The tour starts in Delhi, a great introduction to this sensational country. You'll see the iconic red fort, the majestic Jama Masjid, and enjoy a rickshaw ride to one of Asia's largest spice markets, soaking up the fragrance, aromas and atmosphere as you go. We then head north to Amaritza, famed for its impressive golden temples, and from here we enjoy our first real journey of the tour. Tuck in to breakfast on board as you travel on the Shandy Gras Express train, admiring the passing scenery as you go. And from Shandy Gras, we'll then journey through the lush landscapes to the picturesque hillside station of Shimla, where panoramic views of the surrounding mountains will be waiting to greet you. In Shimla itself, you'll board the famous toy train for a fantastic two and a half hour journey through the gorgeous landscapes. And this is the perfect way to soak up the charming town with its colonial architecture and breathtaking scenery. Our next stop is Agra. As capital of the Mughal Empire, Agra is a city steeped in history and timeless elegance, with opulent palaces, gardens and architecture of which you will explore. It is also home to the Taj Mahal, one of the most recognisable monuments in the entire world. Our experience at the Taj Mahal is really special. We don't just visit the Taj Mahal, we actually wake early to watch the sunrise over this spectacular monument, watching as the pristine white marble dances in the warm shades of pink and orange. It really is quite beautiful and stunning. Once we've finished soaking up the majesty of the Taj Mahal, you'll board the express train to Jaipur. Also known as the Pink City, you'll visit the Palace of the Winds, Amber Fort and glimpse, in, glimpse into the lives of Rajasthan's royalty at the Maharaja City Palace. You'll also visit a local craft centre where you'll witness the traditional arts of block printing and carpet weaving and enjoy a delicious dinner accompanied by a fascinating cultural dance performance. Our last stop in this, on this tour is Varanasi. After breakfast and lunch on board the Bande Bart Express, prepare for an enchanting evening as you wind through Varanasi's ancient lanes and alleys on a rickshaw ride. Experience the mesmerising and deeply spiritual Porsche ceremony and watch as priests perform sacred rituals with oil lamps, incense and chants on the banks of the river Ganges. The next morning, enjoy a sunrise cruise on the Ganges River before visiting some of the city's finest temples and sacred sites. The second tour I want to tell you about is Southern India by Rail. This is a 15 day fully inclusive tour which allows you to experience a completely different side of India, one that is far more laid back than the north. The tour features five rail journeys as well as historic cities and lush hill stations. You'll get to soak up the views of sun drenched tropical coastlines as you travel through the heart and soul of southern India. The tour begins in Chennai, a city of rich cultural heritage, historic landmarks, beautiful beaches and thriving urban life. Visit the ancient temples and intricately carved monuments of Kanchipuram and Mahabalapuram before your first train journey off 
the tour on the wonderfully vibrant Chargers Express to Shandor, where you'll enjoy your city tour. En route to Midori, stop at Chedinard to watch local artists at work in a tile making factory and take part in a hands on cooking class learning about the delicious flavours of the Chetinard cuisine. On arrival in Midori, spend the evening watching the captivating artist ceremony at an iconic Minakoshi temple. Your next rail journey takes you to Trivandrum, the capital city of the state of Karela. Spend the day soaking up some of the landmarks, gracing India's southernmost tip, including iconic temples, impressive statues and the Bay of Bengal. Enjoy a night on board a traditional Kerala houseboat as you glide through the pleasant backwaters of this enchanting region. You'll dine on board as you wind your way through the palm tree lined canals and enjoy a peaceful night's sleep with the hum of nature around you. In Cochin, take your seat for a traditional Kathkali dance performance where vibrant costumes and masks tell the story of Karela's cultural heritage. From Uti, a charming hillside station, beautifully laced with gardens, lakes and waterfalls, you'll board the scenic Nilgari Mountain Railway to Kanur. This one and a half hour rail journey is one of our favourites on the tour, with breathtaking views of the verdant tree plantations, charming villages and natural beauty in every direction to enjoy along the way. Once in Kanur, you'll familiarise yourself with some of India's native plants at the lovely botanical gardens. The final train journey on this tour takes us to Bangalore, one of India's most innovative cities. After soaking up the sights as you travel and enjoying lunch on board, embark on a city tour exploring the dynamic blend of modernity and tradition that defines this city in temples and palaces to perfectly manicured parks and gardens. So ladies and gentlemen that concludes our rail tours through India and I hope I've inspired you to explore this sensational destination with us making the most of India's fantastic rail network. Thank you and I hope to see you on a tour with us very soon. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a great show we've had today. And now, unfortunately, it is our final stop on this rail journey today. Yes, your conductor, Andy, is going to be signing off soon. But before then, it is Southeast Asia. Yes, we have got two exciting new rail tours in Southeast Asia for you. We have got Singapore to Bangkok and also Vietnam by rail. Here's Chris and Keith to tell you more about these two rail journeys. Hi everyone, I'm Chris and it's my pleasure to speak to you today about our brand new Singapore to Bangkok by rail tour. Having travelled extensively through Southeast Asia, I can tell you that this peninsula has it all. Now there's buzzing cities, heritage towns, tea cloaked islands, white beaches, jungle walks and best of all, it's all connected by modern railways which makes the whole region perfect for exploring by train. Now our Singapore to Bangkok by rail tour is an 18 day fully inclusive tour, taking you from Singapore on the southernmost tip of the Malay Peninsula, through Malaysia and up into Northern Thailand. So you get to experience three spectacular countries in one amazing trip. The tour features five city to city train journeys, plus another three bonus rail journeys. And with a maximum group size of only 18, you can enjoy a more intimate travel experience throughout Southeast Asia. So, we begin the tour in Singapore. Now, your guide's going to pick you up from the airport and you'll be taken to your centrally located hotel where you'll spend the next two nights. Although small in size, Singapore punches well above its weight, having passed through the hands of Britain, Japan and Malaysia before gaining full independence in 1965. Singapore is a melting pot of cultures 
which makes it fascinating to explore. We visit the Orchard Garden, we stroll through the Civic District to key colonial landmarks such as the Supreme Court and City Hall. We head to the famous shopping street and even hop on a bum boat to see the city skyscraper studded skyline from the water. At night, we explore the famous Sky Garden with its incredible cloud forest and amazing super tree grove illuminated by a stunning light display. From Singapore, we travel through the Malay countryside to the UNESCO listed town of the Malacca. Once a major stop on the spice trade route, a blend of empires have left their mark here. Now we enjoy a sunset boat trip through the lovely canals lined with the vibrant buildings and the charming walkways and enjoy a tour of the fascinating old town with its impressive colonial style architecture. The first rail journey of this tour takes us two hours from Tampin to Kuala Lumpur. The trains we travel on in Malaysia are very similar to those you'll find here in the UK. Now carriages are clean and air conditioned, seats are comfortable, many have power sockets and even LCD TVs and they also have cafe cars so you can purchase drinks and snacks on board. Now on arrival in Kuala Lumpur you'll enjoy a street food tour and what better way to get to know the city. Following morning, we head on the local metro and head 30 minutes out of town to the Batu Caves, one of Malaysia's most important Hindu temples and famed for its rainbow staircase and colossal gold statue of Lord Murugan, the God of War. You'll then head back to Kuala Lumpur to see more of the city sites, including the beautiful Moorish style mosque and head up to the sky deck of Kuala Lumpur Tower to see impressive views of the city skyline. Now, as we travel further north, we stop at the Cameron Highlands. Now, this is a lush region sitting at 1500 metres above sea level. It's cooler here than the Malaysian lowlands and is known for its rolling hills cloaked in dense forest, strawberry farms and, of course, clean tea plantations. Now, we spend time here soaking up a slice of Malaysia's wonderful nature before boarding a train to Penang, where we'll explore the streets of Georgetown with its beautiful local temples, well-preserved colonial architecture and rich heritage. We also take a short ride on the funicular train to reach the top of Strawberry Hill. Once a famous summer resort beloved by the British colonialists of 19th century and enjoy a canopy walk at the edge of a protected forest for your chance to spot dusky leaf monkeys, black giant squirrels and rare plants. In goodbye Malaysia and hello Thailand as we fly to the island of Phuket. Known for its white sand beaches and diverse street food, you'll get to sample some of the local flavours before hopping on a speedboat for a day trip to Pang Na Bay. This is a beautiful national park reminiscent of Vietnam's Ha Long Bay, with dramatic limestone peaks jutting from the waters. It was also famously the filming location for the man with the golden gun, giving it its moniker, James Bond Island. We head over to Koh Sok National Park, one of the oldest forest ecosystems in the world and spend time exploring the nature trails which are home to many species of wildlife. That isn't all when it comes to Thailand's natural wonders. We also hop in on a long boat to spend the day at Chow Lan Lake, travelling to floating bungalows, swimming, kayaking and perhaps even spotting elephants as they play on the water's edge, if we get lucky. Our next rail journey takes us up further north along the Thai coast. The journey from Suratani to Hua Hin takes around five hours, but the train is comfortable with soft seats, Western style toilets, and you'll be provided with lunch on board. It also provides the perfect opportunity to enjoy the gorgeous views as it meanders up the coast. In Hua Hin, you'll spend time with the local community, learning how to make their toddy palm cake and enjoying lunch with them. The tour ends in Bangkok, home to some of Thailand's most impressive sites. Visit the opulent Grand Palace, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha and Wat Po, one of Bangkok's oldest and largest temples. But there's one more rail experience in store for you before heading home. We take you to Kanachanaburi, made famous by the bridge on the River Kwai. Here, thousands of Allied prisoners of war and Southeast Asian labourers died building the Thai Burma Railway, hence its name, Death Railway. You'll visit the museum to learn more about these tragic stories, visit Hellfire Pass, a dramatic part of the railway that cuts through the mountain and take a 40 minute ride on the death railway across the famous bridge on the River Kwai. We then return to Bangkok for a final farewell dinner as a group where you can reflect on your amazing adventure together. Now I hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour through Singapore, Malaysia and of course Thailand. You can find this tour on our website if you want to see the itinerary in more detail. 
But for now, thanks for your time today and goodbye. Hello, my name's Keith and I'm delighted to introduce you to our brand new Vietnam by Rail tour today. Vietnam by Rail is an 18 day fully inclusive tour featuring four incredible train journeys on the Reunification Express. The Reunification Express is the name of the actual line itself rather than the trains that run along it and it takes you all the way from Saigon in the south up to Hanoi in the north. This historic line was built in 1936 by the French and it takes around 35 hours to go from end to end in one trip. But don't worry, that's not our plan for this tour. As we travel from southern Vietnam to northern Vietnam on the Reunification Express, we'll be hopping on and off, enjoying, enjoying a few nights here and there in a number of fabulous towns and cities along the way. So you'll get plenty of opportunities to soak up Vietnam's incredible sights, local culture, delicious cuisine, and enjoy a host of wonderful experiences. The tour begins in Saigon. Your local guide will pick you up from the airport and you'll be taken to your hotel. You'll then enjoy a welcome dinner in the evening where you'll get the chance to meet your fellow travelers. Just like our Singapore to Bangkok by rail tour, there's a maximum group size of just 18 on this tour. So it's a really good size when it comes to train travel in Southeast Asia. After your first night in Saigon, we head out to the city to the Ku Chi tunnels. This is a fascinating site and you'll spend the morning learning the history of the Viet Cong and the guerrilla tactics used during the Vietnam War. They've actually widened some of the tunnels for tourists so if you wish to, you can head down into them, spending a few minutes making your way through a small section of this, of this huge tunnel network. We then head back to Saigon in the afternoon to see some of the city's attractions, the Central Post Office, Notre Dame Cathedral, and spend some time at the Point Poignant War Remnants Museum. The following morning, we enjoy more sightseeing in Saigon, exploring the famous Chinatown district, visiting the Reunification Palace. And in the afternoon, we embark our first journey of the tour of the Reunification Express. The first journey will be our longest stint on the Reunification Express, at just under four hours, traveling from Saigon to Phan Thiet on the coast. This is probably a good time to explain what the trains are actually like on the Reunification Express. The trains are relatively modern and we reserve spots in the soft seat air conditioned carriages for our groups so you'll be nice and comfortable for the duration of the journey. These carriages have western style toilets at either end and they, there's usually a snack cart in service where you can purchase things like crisps, chocolates, noodles, soft drinks and even beer if you want to toast your trip. As I said we're now on the coast so you have a morning at leisure in Fantit to explore the local area or spend some time at the beach. Then we drive into the central highlands to Dalat, watching as the scenery changes from low-lying coastal plains to gorgeous tea-covered hills and mountains. Whilst in Dalat, we'll visit the Art Deco-style summer palace of King Bao Dai, wander through the colourful flower gardens and visit one of the area's oldest tea plantations to learn more about tea cultivation. The star of the show in Dalat is a ride on the Dalat Rail Railway, also built in the 1930s by the French colonialists. You'll hop on board a vintage diesel locomotive with open air heritage carriages to chug your way through the countryside to try Mat. This is a wonderful experience and a great way to see the lovely scenery as you leisurely pass through. And the vintage train gives a real sense of nostalgia too. So it's a real highlight. From Dalat, we travel further north to Hoi An. Hoi An is one of those places that has managed to retain the feel of centuries past. It's a UNESCO listed town and is known for its yellow coloured buildings and vibrant silk lanterns which illuminate the streets at night. We'll enjoy a walking tour of the old town to sites like the Japanese covered bridge and Chinese pagoda. And we'll even stop at a traditional house to hear more about a local practice of healing through martial arts where you'll get to try some of the basic steps under the guidance of a master. Just outside of Hoi An in the countryside, you'll find the organic farming community of Trakay village. Here, 
you'll get to meet the local farmers who still use traditional techniques and even have a go at trying them yourself. And you'll take part in a really fun hands-on cooking class alongside a local chef using fresh ingredients from the farm. Now we have our second ride on the Reunification Express, travelling up to Huai. This is a two and a half hour trip and is considered one of the most spectacular train journeys in the world. As you travel up the coast along the cliffs, on one side you'll see golden beaches and turquoise waters, and on the other you'll see lush green jungle and dramatic lofty mountains. There's also a section of this journey that passes through verdant rice paddies and wetlands, and, of course, you'll cross the High Van Pass, which offers breathtaking views sweeping over the ocean. In Huai itself, we'll explore the many sites of this former imperial capital. We'll wander through the imperial citadel, which is home to the impressive Forbidden Purple City, visit elaborate royal tombs and cruise the Perfume River. In northern Vietnam, in Hanoi, we'll enjoy a cyclo tour through the Old Quarter, admire the tree-lined boulevards and colonial architecture of the French Quarter, and stop by a local coffee shop to try traditional Vietnamese egg coffee. We'll also visit the Ho Chi Minh Quarter, exploring the grounds of the Presidential Palace, the humble house on stilts where Ho Chi Minh lived, and see his mausoleum. And then from Hanoi, we board the Reunification Express for the third time for a three hour journey to Ninh Binh. Ninh Binh is an absolutely stunning region. It's often referred to as Heilong Bay on land because of the dramatic cast formations which jut out from the lovely surrounding farmland. In this area, we'll board a small boat and meander along the river, which winds its way through the caves and river paddies. It's a really peaceful way to soak up the breathtaking natural scenery that surrounds us and really lets you appreciate the beauty of Vietnam's rural areas. And from Heilong Bay on land to the actual Heilong Bay. The following day, we head to Heilong Bay where we'll board a ship for an overnight stay out in the waters. I'm sure you've all seen pictures of Heilong Bay. Let me tell you, photos really don't do this place justice. It's utterly breathtaking and you just can't imagine the expanse of it until you're out there cruising your way through the thousands of islets and islands. If you can manage to take your eyes off the beautiful scenery, there's plenty of optional activities for you to enjoy on our Heilong Bay cruise too. You can try kayaking, go swimming from the shores of an island beach, explore some of the underground caves, visit floated villages, or you can simply sit back with a cocktail in hand, soaking in the views of this wonderful area. From Heilong Bay, we jump on the Reunification Express for the last time, as we head back to Hanoi for our farewell dinner and final night. Wow, what an adventure. If you want to tick off Vietnam's top highlights and admire the beauty of this country as you travel, Vietnam by rail really is the way to do it. What a fantastic rail show we've had today. We hope you've enjoyed your travels with us. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going through to the VIP Travel Lounge. Yes, that is your opportunity to meet with the travel experts, to ask all the questions 
that you want to ask on anything that you've seen in today's very special rail show. Just scroll down your screen, you'll see that red button. Click on the red button and you'll be taken through to the Travel Lounge. I'll be there to meet you as well and we are going to put those travel experts to the test today. See you soon.